The new workload optimization feature of vRealize Operations enables you to adopt a self-driving approach to monitoring and managing your data centers and cloud environments. In this video, you will see how workload optimization can automatically resolve capacity shortfalls while driving the best possible performance for your application. Let's start in the Capacity Overview screen, where you can see one of your data centers has run out of capacity, denoting it has zero days remaining. In the middle of the screen, you see there are two clusters in this data center, and while one of them is red, indicating it is out of space, the other is green indicating room available. When you scroll down further, you can see the details of the capacity shortfall as well as the projected trend. The capacity shortfall in the management cluster is based on CPU, which is struggling to keep up with the demand. Based on the long-term projection, this trend is going to continue. This is probably the cause of your application performance problems. The compute cluster, on the other hand, has plenty of space available now and into the future. vRealize Operations gives you recommendations on how you can resolve this capacity and performance issue. We can try and reclaim resources or look at optimizing workloads between clusters. Based on the obvious imbalance between these clusters, this is a perfect opportunity to leverage workload optimization. Clicking on View Optimization will take you to the Workload Optimization screen. At the bottom, you can clearly see the demand imbalance between these two clusters. Let's configure Workload Optimization to balance the workload between the clusters. Click on Edit Settings to set up your operational and business intent for the data center. Choose the Balance setting to keep the workloads evenly spread between the clusters. Workload optimization can be run in one of three ways. It can be run manually with the Optimize Now button. It can be scheduled to run on an ongoing basis during one of your maintenance windows. Or it can be automated to run when an imbalance starts to affect performance like you had here. For the purpose of this video, you will run a workload optimization manually. You can review the current workload utilization of the clusters in the data center and the projected usage after the optimization. And then review the proposed moves and then begin the action. When the optimization finishes, you can see this data center is now optimized. This concludes the overview of workload optimization.